Hey, what's up everybody, AWOL here, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you all about how to use the new RTX voice feature that comes along with RTX graphics cards. It eliminates insane amounts of background noise, and what you probably didn't know is that right now, I am in an insanely loud noise environment. The noise cancellation is going right now. Check this out. This is the way it actually sounds in this environment right now. I've got an overhead fan, an air conditioning, a noise, a white noise app at full volume, and a thunderstorm in the background. It's the worst environment ever for recording audio. And then when I turn the noise cancellation on, it makes all of that noise go away. If you want to know how to use this technology, which is the best noise cancellation technology live, at least, I've ever seen, here's the tutorial on how to set it up for OBS. This is just freaking crazy. It's just freaking insane. All right, here we go. Your first step is going to be to click the link in the description below to go to the RTX voice setup guide. And that's going to contain two important links that you're going to need to use uh, in this guide. By the way, I'm going to keep the crazy noise going in the background for the whole demo, just so you can see what it really sounds like. It does have some processing sound, as you can tell. As you go through this guide, there's going to be a link there. Uh, where you, it will also tell you that you need to install the latest NVIDIA driver if you have not already installed the driver. So go ahead and install that if you have not already, and it'll take you to a page that looks like this where you can install that driver. You're going to need to do that today in order to actually use RTX Voice if you have an RTX card. Great. Once you have installed NVIDIA RTX Voice, it'll have this little app. This is the actual app itself. It's very, very simple. And as you can see, I have the checkbox checked right here to do noise cancellation on my microphone, which is actively going right now. You will have to manually select your microphone on this menu to choose which mic it's going to noise cancel for you. And there's also an option here that can throw some of you off. You do not need to noise cancel your output device. It gives you the option to select an output device and you could noise cancel if your output was super noisy for some reason. I don't recommend using this for the majority of applications. So don't check this box right here. This will squash your audio uh, in a major way and eliminate things like music and game sounds and what have you. Once you have RTX Voice installed, it will now be available as a device for you to use on your computer in something like OBS. Now, in the actual guide itself, they recommend, and I'm gonna show you, I don't like this recommendation. They recommend that you go into your settings and you select RTX Voice within your audio tab, and you add RTX Voice as your auxiliary mic and your monitoring device, I do not recommend doing that. I'm gonna show you what I do recommend doing today in this guide, which is not that. What I recommend doing is manually clicking the Sources button here in OBS, and doing an audio input capture, and then choosing your RTX voice here under device as your device and manually adding it to OBS, not making it a default device, okay? Once you do that, you have RTX voice in here as an audio device in your computer that you can now use. And all of your audio that's coming through the microphone that you selected here is now coming through RTX voice here in OBS. So it routes from the software to this software. You get it? I wanted to show that visually so you understand that's coming from this software to this software, and that's what you're seeing here. But the setup is not complete. In order to have RTX Voice work properly, you're going to need to sync up your audio with your video uh, because RTX Voice will take a little bit extra time to process all that audio because of how insanely loud it is. Let me turn this off just to remind you, it's still this loud. It's still this loud in here right now, and I'm still talking to you, okay? Let me turn RTX voice back on. So much better, right? All right. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the cog here next to your audio input capture, so you can sync up your voice with your audio or your gameplay with your audio, whatever you're doing. It's probably voice with video, right? Click advanced audio properties, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a sync offset, which is going to slow down your audio from RTX voice to match the video signal that you're giving since they're both processing, right? I recommend starting at 100 MS and hitting OK, and then, or hitting close, and then doing a test recording down here and playing that back to see if that works for you and to see if that is synced up for you. 
After you've done a number of test recordings, you'll be ready to go, and you'll be using the most insane noise cancellation in the history of humanity. Once again, one last time, because I think this technology is so remarkable. I'm turning it off. This is the way it sounds in my space right now. It's freaking horrendous. And then when I turn the noise cancellation back on, this is the way it sounds. If you don't already have a computer that has an RTX graphics card in it, I'll recommend to you the laptop I'm using right here, which has a G uh, RTX 2060 graphics card in it. It's a creator laptop. I highly recommend it. I recommend it to my clients. And if you're interested in upgrading your system, upgrading your rig, and getting an RTX worthy card or an RTX card for this kind of technology, link in the description below to that. If you're interested in purchasing these RTX laptops, are actually cheaper than buying a desktop computer of near equivalent power. Uh, it's pretty crazy how cheap they are because they are being mass produced. The mass production of the parts uh, means that the cost of these laptops is super low with these RTX cards in them. Uh, that's why it's actually as much, it's, it's almost equivalent in price or lower to get a creator laptop now than it is to buy a creator desktop, believe it or not. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of this new RTX noise cancellation technology in the comments below. Did it sound good to you? Does it sound robot -y? You tell me. I'll see you in the next one. Adios, creators.